If you've never owned an electric vehicle, there are a lot of confusing terms like kilowatt hour, plug-in hybrid, heat pump, and chatamo. No, not you. Another one that a lot of drivers don't understand or even know about is something called bi-directional charging, but it's a feature you are going to want. And today I'll explain what it is, what's good about it, and some of the cons to be aware of. You can go now. So what the heck is bi-directional charging? Well, in simple terms, it's a feature that allows your electric vehicle to feed power back into your home or beyond. Normally, energy comes from your house and goes into your EV when you're charging the battery. But with bi-directional charging, in certain situations, electricity can come out of the vehicle and go back into your house. The power can flow both ways, hence the name bi-directional. But why would you ever want this? Well, it is an amazing feature for several reasons. The single biggest benefit is that bi-directional charging allows your EV to function like a generator. Say there's a power outage. Depending on usage, your electric vehicle could provide enough juice to run your entire household for days. You know, it's easy to forget just how much energy is stored in EV batteries, but take the F-150 Lightning, for instance. With the extended range pack, Ford says this all-electric truck can power your house for three days or 10 if you ration carefully. That's more than a week. This makes bi-directional charging a game-changing technology. Also, you never need to worry about having a separate generator, whether there's enough gas in the tank or if it will start when you need it. And of course, with bi-directional charging, crisscrossing extension cords through your house to make sure the fridge and freezer stay plugged in is a thing of the past. Now, I know about whole house generators. They're super nice and they streamline this entire process. However, they run on fossil fuels, which are not clean, and you have to buy them separately, which is another expense and not a cheap one. If you own an EV that supports bi-directional charging, you can potentially save tens of thousands of dollars by not having to purchase, maintain, and fuel a separate generator. Similarly, bi-directional also allows your EV to feed electricity into the broader power grid even if there isn't an outage. Sometimes, it's hard for utilities to keep up with demand, like if it's the middle of summer in Southern California and everyone is running their air conditioners. Your car could help with grid balancing, so rolling blackouts or other interruptions are avoided. There are huge benefits to bi-directional charging, but there are also a few downsides, which I'll cover right after a few words from our sponsor. When it comes to wireless charging, think Wytricity. Wireless charging brings a whole new level of convenience to the EV ownership experience by eliminating bulky cables and clunky connectors. Just park your vehicle and it starts absorbing energy automatically. It's that simple. And by Jove, by golly, by directional charging will also be supported by Wytricity's wireless chargers. Their systems also have the significant advantage of always being connected. With competing chargers, if you forget to plug in your EV, there's no way it can power your home. Wireless EV charging by Wytricity is easy, elegant, and just as efficient as level two charging with a cable. So for more information, follow the QR code on screen or hit the link in the description box below. Of course, nothing in life is perfect and bi-directional charging has some downsides. The biggest issue is that you often have to purchase separate hardware for it to work. Basically, you need a charger that's smart enough to tell when power is interrupted and then interact with your EV so it can start sending juice into your home's electrical system. Going back to the Lightning, for instance, Ford says you need their 80 amp charge station pro at home charger to take advantage of intelligent backup power, their name for bi directional charging. Now, this hardware does come standard in Lightnings fitted with the extended range battery, but if you want to purchase one, they go for around $1,300 at the time we produce this video. Of course, that does not include installation, which could cost thousands more, nor does it get you the required home integration system, which provides additional hardware that's necessary to make all of this function. So make sure to budget an additional $3,895 to purchase that. 
Finally, battery longevity is a real concern. If your vehicle is constantly running your household or sending power back to the grid, those charge and discharge cycles will degrade the pack over time. That's a fact. But I wouldn't worry too much about this if you only plan on using bi-directional charging as a generator replacement. I mean, how often does the power really go out? Still, it is something to think about. Anyway, I hope you learned a few things from this exciting episode of EV Basics. And are you still hanging around? Yeah, I saw you earlier. You're not as sneaky as you think. Get out of here. Next, check out our EV Basics explainer that compares kilowatts to kilowatt hours. Do you know the difference between these two? If not, that is okay. In a straightforward way, this video explains the ins and outs of these closely related and confusingly named terms. So check that out next.